Hello and welcome back to the Doctor's Garage here on YouTube. So today I'm very excited because about an hour ago I picked up a brand new Land Rover project here for the channel. It's not a Defender, but it's something kind of similar and I'm very excited to share it with you right here. Here it is, my 1957 Land Rover Series 1. So I picked up this project car about an hour ago. I've been looking for a series car for quite a while and I've gone for the series one and I'll tell you a little bit more about why I've chosen a series one and why in particular this model. Looking online, I found a lot of series two cars, series two A, series threes. They're all quite expensive. You're talking up with like 15, 20K when they look decent and they're done. There's not many series ones that have been renovated and kind of brought back to life without them looking really, really, really heritage. And for me, I want to do something with this car a little bit different different to what you see on um, in the Land Rover magazines and different to what you see out there. Kind of make it a bit more of a maybe a resto mod conversion, kind of bring it back to life a bit, do some things, make it look a bit more beach buggy-ish, bigger tires, bigger wheels, roof down, those sorts of things. So interested for any inspiration or people you can share with me that have done the same with Series 1s. But I went for Series 1 because I think it's a bit different. I don't think it's done as much as the other Series cars. Places like Cool and Vintage do so many Series 2 cars and they look unbelievable. But I never see many Series 1s as examples or ones that they've done. So I'd be really interested to see any of that kind of inspiration of Cool and Vintage for a Series 1. I know they do own a blue one that they use as their runabout, which is very, very cool. But um, yeah, interested to know any more inspiration around that that you guys might have for me here on YouTube. In the meanwhile, let me show you around the whole car, show you all the features that I've found on it so far, what I've got to learn, and I'm really interested to know what do you guys at home think should be the plans for this car? What are we going to do with it? What Do we respray it? Do we keep it as it is? Roof off, roof on, wheels, tires, the whole lot really. It's a brand new project, so I'm excited about sharing it with you guys here and getting some hints and tips about what we should do with it first. Let's begin from the front. So this is a 1957 Series 1, and it has things like the capstan winch, which I'm not sure if it works yet. Don't know if this is the lever here for it. I'm yet to work it out, but will do soon. Um, it's it's very, very um, original in a lot of ways. Still has a lot of the original paintwork through it. It has had some parts that have been replaced, like the bonnet. But I don't know a whole lot about Series 1s in general, just what I've read about online. Probably the coolest part of my new project purchase is the original registration documents and logbook. I think it was £368 this Land Rover was bought for. It's actually gone up quite well in value, but I guess it would over 60 odd years. And it's got all the old logbook stamps here, all from Somerset. So that's originally where this vehicle was born um, and made to so Somerset County Council, local taxation section, County Hall, Taunton. And this is the old logbook. So really nice piece of history for half of the car. It's got the chassis number, the engine number and everything on here, which is the same as what matches my vehicle. So I was quite keen to make sure that the body registration number matched the engine. So it's got the original engine in it. Um, so yeah. Very cool piece of history to go along with my Series 1 as well. There's obviously a few things that need doing. So you can see the rust through here. Kind of want to tidy all this up. And I do know on a Series 1, like many of the Series cars, you can take the roof off and then fold the screen forward. It has the hinges here to do that. And I follow quite a few people on YouTube and on Instagram that have Series that have done quite a few modifications I like. And they are people like Island Rovers with his Series 1, Conrad's, but also I've seen other pages as well cars that I quite like. So I'm going to take you around this car, you tell me what you think of it and in the condition it's in, is it a good Series 1? Because that is the big question. Now go around the back, you can see actually it's not in bad shape. You know, there is obviously the paintwork, which I quite like actually. The galvanised sort of areas all look very good. There's no particular rust and even underneath it's not too bad either. Quite cool features. So it's the lid that comes up and then you've obviously got the, uh, the bit that drops down. So through here, you can take these off and the whole thing falls forward, the tailgate, which is quite nice. In the back here, these are the things that it came with. The history behind this car is it's three owners from new. And the first person, I think it was agricultural. It was owned for many, many years from 1957 onwards. Then it was bought by um, a guy who was a local engineer. And he's done quite a lot of the work to it um, himself. But he also had a professional company called Cox & Turner. So some people may know about them in the engine world, in the series world. This engine has had a lot of parts replaced by Cox & Turner Engineering. It's had about £2,000 spent on the engine about 
three years ago, and then it had another thousand pound on it spent after that too. So it's had essentially what I suppose I would call a bit of an engine rebuild, which I'm quite pleased with because this car is obviously getting on towards 60 something years old. So if I just close that, perfect. We take a look around here, things like the original badges that I really like on this car. Underneath, you know what, like compared to like my Land Rover Defender, it's actually not that bad for a car of this age. If we look underneath here, it has been coated in something over time. And it's also got some new panels that have been fitted as well. I think the leaf springs probably need doing at some point, um, but actually it's not in bad condition at all for its age. Go around this side. Some of the things I like about the Series 1 is the fact that you can strip them down right to this level here, which is what I'm planning on doing to this, I think, with this car. Now it's summertime and we've kind of got blue skies. But I just love the look of the Series 1. I think overall it's such a classic, iconic looking car. And I don't think you can go far wrong, really, with the Series 1 as far as they go. Looking inside of this car. Get a seat up. This is the interior. Again, haven't looked at loads of Series cars. But I've been told this isn't actually in that bad condition. It's got things like the floor, the footwells have been done, which I know in even my Defender, they go. And the seats are, are all right, to be fair. They're not too bad when I look through here. I think it's not in bad condition as far as they go. And I think it'll be a great starting point for our project here on the channel. I quite like it that these doors on the series go all the way forward like this. And they've got a little bump stop there. So you can get the floors fully open like that. I just love the simplicity of the design that you only really get on the series models before they became too complicated. Now, as I mentioned, it had had a full engine rebuild, I suppose. It's also had gearbox components put on it. I've got a whole booklet of invoices that have been done on this car. So I do believe mechanically it's actually not too bad. I've obviously driven it home from where I bought it from today, which is a place called Shearwood Restorations in Nottinghamshire. They had this car on, it wasn't their typical stock and they were actually gonna sell it to a dealer on Monday, which is tomorrow. So I decided to actually go in and take it off them, uh, for which I think was a very good price that I got for it. And uh, yeah, looking forward to potentially converting it into um, a car that suits more what I would like in the series. And some people here on YouTube and generally around the world might think this is horrific, but for me, there's a few things I want to do, such as making the tyres and wheels a little bigger. I don't know about respraying it. I've heard mixed things. Some people say you should keep it as it is, but I would quite like to respray it. I'm not a huge fan of the green. I quite like the marine blue, the old Land Rover colour that I might do us in. I think that's what the RAF series ones were in the blue. I really like that colour. So does it affect the value if you respray these things? That's what I'm interested to know, because obviously I don't want to lose money doing this. And the plan really for me, I'll take you a little look under here as well, is to potentially actually convert this into a wedding car. I'll show you a little bit underneath here while we're talking. So you can see, not bad at all. I think it's had quite a few new components under there, which all look quite good. But I'm interested to hear your guys' opinion of whether this is a good condition or not. But yeah, for me, I'd quite like to do this into a wedding car because I think Series 1s are great wedding cars and it's a great way to have a car like this and still earn some money off it potentially. So wedding car themed ideas are very welcome of what you think would work. I think the canvas back with the galvanised hoops are probably going to be best at the back rather than this kind of hard shell body. I think it does look a bit weird but uh, again open to your ideas of what you think of that. Inside I think it needs a bit of a refresh if we're thinking of kind of restoring it sympathetically. I'm not a huge fan of this steering wheel, to be honest. I don't think I can get my optimal wheel on here, unfortunately. But more of a heritage wheel will be quite cool. Front bench seats as well. I need to think about what is best to do with them. But overall, condition-wise, quite pleased with the car. But I am no expert. As you all know here watching the channel, I'm no expert. But I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this car and seeing what we can do with it here on YouTube. So any ideas, welcome. Check me out on Instagram as well. I'll put a lot of pictures of this new car up alongside my original 90 Defender too. So I hope you're as excited as I am about getting started with this car, coming up with some new ideas about what we could do, how I could change it, and just kind of bring it to life a little bit more than it is. And at the same time, not causing it too much harm, I guess, because I know Series 1s you've got to sympathetically restore. So interested to know your thoughts about my brand new purchase here on the channel and looking forward to doing more videos with this car as well as my other ones here in the garage. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.